have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. What's going on YouTube? I'm Darrell's auntie and uncle, Joe Felice. So you can call me either Joe or you can call me Felice. But I see that y'all had a question and answers. So y'all wanted to ask some questions. So I came on over here from South Carolina. And I'm asking all these questions that you wrote down. Oh man, auntie, uncle, what you doing over here? Look at him walking in here like he's a howlet, man. Sit your little big head self down. Man. <laughs> man, I ain't got time for all that, man. Look at all them muscles you done got. I remember when you was a little skinny thing running around with duty in your underwear. Had all those duty stains. I remember that, but I ain't gonna get into all that. I know you ain't talking. You over there looking like Patti LaBelle's little sister. Look at you. What you wearing? You get more muscle than me. Is you a man? Is you a woman? You confused in life. Be yourself. Don't be trying to be funny now, because I know the real you. Okay then, you quit getting on me, and I won't get on you. Just ask me the questions that's in front of you. <laughs> we won't get to these questions. You want me to do it? You can joke all you want. We won't get to these questions. Okay then. Dang. This one comes from Street Style Post. How are you so confident, and were you this confident at a team? And don't you lie to them. Don't you lie. I've always been confident as long as I could remember. This question comes from Hector Segura. When did you start working out? I started working out about 18. And what's your most embarrassing gym moment? I'll be honest with you, okay? It was like one of my first clients ever, and she, it was a female. And yes, I am married, but she was a very pretty lady. And I'm not sitting there trying to think about crazy thoughts. Now, I am doing my job. I am. She's going through a great workout, but I wasn't used to training with women. Like, I didn't, I really didn't know what to expect. So, as she started struggling, you know what's God is like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. It's not like that with women. It started, ah, 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 ooh. And I was like, oh my gosh, before you know it, my man woke all the way up. And you were over there, training and getting aroused, sitting over there with, with your thing hanging all out. So I'm here in the gym in the middle of a session, supposed to be spotting this lady, and here I am standing like an idiot. I mean, full throttle. I couldn't do nothing. How'd you hide it? And so I just played it off and I told her to go ahead and take her own weight off and that was my job, I was supposed to do it. So I just kind of took a knee out like I was tying my shoe and I was trying to push him down and just try to think of anything and eventually he went down and then that's the only time it ever happened and we moved on and we still getting gains to this day. This question comes from James Alaniz. Why did you want to start a YouTube channel? Yeah, why? I don't even really have a reason why I wanted to start a YouTube channel. It almost just happened. One day I was in the gym and me and, uh, me and a couple buddies working out and we was just seeing who can get the most reps, so we recorded it. And as I seen my video footage, I found a lot of stuff wrong with my uh, dumbbell bench press. So after that, I started recording more. So I basically started this channel just to fix all of my all of my presses, all of my lifts. This question comes from Love Dede or Love Dada. I don't know what it is. It's just D-A-D-A. -D -A. So it could be Dede or Dada. If you work out but you don't see no gains, what's the problems? It could be a lot of different reasons. You could be going too heavy. You could be going too light. You could be doing the exercises wrong. Without me seeing exactly what you're doing, it's hard for me to judge why you're not making gains. But I'm telling you what you should do. Try my workouts for at least three months. Pick your favorite workout for every single day, Monday through Saturday, and you do that for at least three months. And if you can, go ahead and get on my little strict little bulking diet and do that for three months. I guarantee it. I guarantee that you will make gains. If you do not make gains after that, you personally contact me and I will customize you something for free. This question comes from Flex Fitness. When did you start working out? Cause you used to be a little skinny little thing, boy. I started working out when I was 18, but I started training when I was 23. This question comes from Henry Rooney. Do you deadlift anymore? <laughs> yeah, do you deadlift, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with you. I don't deadlift no more. I deadlifted for probably like seven years. And within those seven years, I tweaked my back twice. After tweaking my back that second time, I really took a step back and just looked at it. And I found so many different alternative exercises that I could still get all those gains and not be at that risk and hurt my lower back. Because with my back being hurt, I can't go to work. With me not being able to go to work, I can't provide for my family. <laughs> this question comes from Cervix Crusher. How old is you? But I think they mean, how old are you? How old are you? Man, I see all those grays over there. Look at your hands all ashy. I am 33 years old. You're getting old, boy. I'm about to turn 34, May 9th. If you're a tourist, stand up. This question comes from Nanny17. 
Why did you start working out? I started working out because I got tired of people calling me names. I got tired of people calling me Skeletor, calling me Skinny, calling me Doodle, calling me Bones. And who is your dream collab? Honestly, YouTube has done got so polluted and diluted that I don't even really have a dream collab. Like if I had to pick one person, I know it sounds crazy, but it would probably be Cali Muscle. And the only reason is just because he's an animal and he is crazy like I am. Uh, and I like Chris Jones too, you know what I mean? Chris Jones, me and him are a lot alike in a lot of different ways. Our personalities are almost identical. We've been training for about the same length. We got the same goals. Um, we got a lot in common. So it would probably be Cali Muscle or it would be uh, Chris. This question comes from Traven James. What's the minimum time between workouts? I don't know if he means workouts or exercises, workout days. I don't know what he's asking. It depends what you're talking about. Now, I'm going to take it as you're meaning like what day. So, like if you're saying if you're doing leg day on Monday, how many days do you need in between that workout? I would give it at least three to four days. That's why I do my leg day. I do it on Wednesday and then I come back on Saturday. So, the answer to that, I would say between three and four days. This question comes from A, B. What's the most ideal gain of the week? Is it more important to have your split or is it more important for your diet? It takes all of it. You need a good split. You need a good uh, nutrition. You need everything. But if I had to pick one, what would be more important to me? I would have to say nutrition because nutrition is everything. With nutrition only, you can get bigger. With nutrition only, you can get smaller. With nutrition only, you can maintain. This question comes from Cola Fizz. What is your view on taking steroids to build the body? Well, I'm going to get my two cents in. You don't need them. If you ain't a professional, you don't need them. Look at my little strong nephew over there. Big old head, big old body, little bit of ears. He ain't never used no steroids. Look at that bull. Unfortunately, in these days and times, if you're a professional bodybuilder, you're going to have to. That's why it was never big on me to try to be a professional bodybuilder because I'm not going to be no professional bodybuilder. I will never get big enough to do that because I'm not going to put no needles in my body and I'm not just going to go down that route because that's the dark road. Once you go down that dark road, you're on that dark road for life because once you come off, you will never be able to get the gains that you already got. So you're going to be in a depressing state of mind for your rest of your lifting career because you're going to always want to chase that physique that you built with the help of the roids now you can't get that so you're never going to feel satisfied you're never going to be happy i'm cool with what my expectations are because mine are realistic i know what weight i can hit for a maximum weight i know what strength i can get i already know all that because it's realistic and that's what i like about it i'm not saying steroids are bad but steroids are not for me this question comes from number above dumbbells versus barbell bench press which one's going to build more muscle if i had to choose between a dumbbell bench press or a barbell bench press i would choose a dumbbell any day to me personally i feel like the dumbbells builds up more muscle it builds up more strength this question comes from muhammad abri i mean not muhammad ali but a muhammad abri you know not float like a butterfly sting like a bee his is instead of a l i it's a b d i so it might be abri or abri Something like that. You know who you are. For skinny fat guys, should I bulk or cut first? If it was me and I was skinny fat, I'm going to keep on building. It doesn't even matter. A lot of people call me names, whatever. Because if you're skinny fat, more than likely, you ain't got a lot of muscle build up anyway. So go ahead and just build up. And just go ahead and get a little bit chunky. Don't worry about that. Just keep on pounding those weights. Just keep on eating good. I mean, don't get sloppy now. I don't want you to eat sloppy. Don't be eating just junk and candy. Eat good quality meals, good quality lean meats, good vegetables. And then just keep on building. Give yourself about a year or two. And then you diet down. That way you get rid of the skinny fat look and the fat look overall. Now you're shredded. Now rebuild. And now your gain certified. Henry Nelson, how many calories do you personally use when you're cutting and when you're bulking and when you're maintaining? Because all you do is eat. All you do is eat. Now you know I'm a big eater. I love to eat. So if I'm cutting, it's going to vary. My cuts usually start off around about 2400 and I get all the way down to about 1800. If I'm maintaining, I'm going to keep it around about 2500 to about 2800. And if I'm trying to build, I'm going to keep it from about 3,000 to 4,000. I know it sounds crazy, but my job makes me burn so many calories because it's very physically demanding, so I'm always on the go. So I eat a lot because I burn a lot. This question is from Hector C. Did you play sports as a teen? Yeah, I played sports as a teen. I played football. I played basketball. How are you different than any other fitness YouTubers? Because you know it's like a million of you. It's like every, every video I go to, it's a new fitness YouTuber popping up. 
He showed me how to do push-ups. He showed me how to do push-ups. You showed me how to do the push-ups. What's the difference? I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't really say that I'm any different from any YouTuber. I think the main difference is I really truly care. It's in my heart. Like I really take the time out to make everybody feel important. I want everybody to know that they are part of a family. Everybody else out here, they're not even responding back to most people's comments. Any comment left on my channel, I'm going to address it because I may be able to change somebody's life. So if I had to sum it up, I would say I really truly care. This question is from Alex B. When did you come up with the phrase, keep getting them gains? <laughs> I know you didn't take the credit for that. Me and your mama been saying that since 1984. When our baby daddy did what he's supposed to do and he didn't want to go to work, we told him to get up, get out of bed, and go get them gains. I see how you just gonna go ahead and tell all the people on me. Why you gonna do me like that? My auntie uncle then made it up. You know, my auntie uncle made it up and it just came up in their mind one day when their husbands and boyfriends and baby daddies and side men wasn't doing what they supposed to do. They wanted to get up and get the work. They're telling you need to get up and get them game. This question comes from 205 Lumpy. When does the shredding series start? It is almost time. We're starting March the 1st and the whole strength team family is about to get shredded. What does shredding mean? Delmar Williams. My chest lost size, but my bench increased. Why? I know you may think that's a bad thing, but in my opinion, that is gain certified. You are losing fat and you're building strength? Keep getting them gain. This question is from Andrew Kettle. What sports did you play in high school? In high school, I, I played, I think maybe my freshman year, I played basketball and football, but that's about as far as it went. I was more interested in the uh, cheerleader, so I was the type of guy just to tell the coach, no, don't start me, put me on the bench. So I'd be over there flirting with all the cheerleaders. <laughs> this question is from Michael James. Ever had no energy? Soon as you get to the gym and after a few sets, you felt like you was going to die? How did you maintain to keep working out and push through? And like I told you in that last video, that was one of my best workouts ever, and I was having one of the worst days ever. So like I'm telling you, either Take a day or two off, or if you think you can put on some music that gets you amped up, listen to some amped up music for about two or three minutes, and then finish your workout. This question is from Maximal Sakharit. Sakharit. I don't know how you say that. I'm not even going out like I know it. So it's going to be something like Sakharit. Are you married? Yeah, I'm married. I'm married to my beautiful wife, and we've been married for a couple years, but we've been dating for like 13. I know you're like, dang, you've been dating for 13, but only married for three. I was just one of those type, man, I was scared. I was scared, you two. I didn't want to say I do. We, we was engaged for like eight years. I ain't lying. I was like, when you get married, mind your business. When are you getting married? Like, I just don't know. I had some type of something over me. I just didn't want to get married, so I made her wait forever, and she's a super cool woman. When did you meet her? I met her at work. Um, I see. I can remember the first time I seen her, man. She came down there. She had a nice little outfit on. She had some sandals, so I looked at her feet. She had pretty feet. You know, I like women with pretty feet. So then I seen her walking. She turned around. She used to ride horses, so she had a nice little butt, so I was just thinking she worked out, and she was older, too, so it was like a challenge. I was like, man, I wonder if I can get that. I mean, so I sit there, and I kept on just messing with her, blah, blah, blah flirting sending her little messages and before you know it I had her she's mine mission accomplished this question is from Bruce Barnes what happened to picking three lucky subscribers when you hit 10,000 did you lie to us did you get 10,000 and forget about that you made that video where are the winners at? I already picked three. I done went and worked out with the main winner. And the second one, he'll be in his video. And I done sent him all his stuff. And the third one, I just shipped his stuff yesterday. So his is out of the country, the third one. So it'll probably take him a while to get his. But I'm sure he will leave a comment and let you know too. I do not lie. If I say I'm going to pick three, I'm going to pick three and I'm going to make it happen. Sorry for the third one. Nanny17, you're the third winner. I apologize that it took so long. But I just wanted to make sure that your box was just stuffed like the other ones. This question is from Jeff Sidney. What kind of protein do you use? It depends on what's on sale. I'm not going to lie. If they got a sale and it looks pretty good and it helps me to hit my macros, I'm going to get any type of protein. But I personally like BSN and the flavor I like is chocolate peanut butter. This question is from Masiak Mikil Uzlium. <laughs> I don't know what they talking about. <laughs> Are you natural? I am natural. I have been natural my whole entire life. I have not even went down the dark road one cycle. And to be honest, I don't plan on it. The only way, I'm going to keep it real with you. The only way that I would ever, ever consider getting on anything, and it would only be on tests, 
if my man quit working, if I wake up and my man don't work and he do it for about a month, I'm going to go to the doctor, tell him to check my levels. And if he tells me instead, doctor, <laughs> bang me up. Hang me up. I'm not going to do it just for muscle, but if my man don't work, ah, oh man, you call me what you want. No, I ain't natty. He ain't either. Straight up. This question is from Morgan Network. What advice would you give to someone that is wanting to start a YouTube channel? You have got to be yourself and you have got to have fun. Stay consistent and just, just have fun with it. If you can't sit back and watch your own videos and laugh, you're in it for the wrong reasons. Have fun. This question is from Ashish. Pila, Ashish Pila, how do you maintain muscle while you are on vacation? If you're on vacation, enjoy your vacation. Don't get stuck on like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose all my gains. You're not. You can go on a vacation for a week and not work out for that whole week. You're not gonna lose no gains at all. You're not gonna have that pump, but trust me, you are not gonna lose no gains. Go ahead and have fun. You are on vacation, have fun. Fun. This question is from Mason3. Will you have apparel and win? Because you've been saying you've been coming out clothes for a while now. You've been talking to me and your mom about it. And we ain't about to sit there with no needle and thread and put up a thousand shirts in and out. We already got arthritis and tendonitis and gunginitis. So we can't do it. I'm going to make you work. I'm going to, the, the clothes will start dropping in February. So next month I'll be starting to wear it in the gym and it will be available to everybody by March. Gain certified. So you have to find you somebody else. This question comes from Michael. How tall are you? I'm six foot one. And what's your ethnicity? I'm Italian and Chinese. <laughs> I'm just black. I mean, I'm just black. I'm black. I'm African American. This question is from four question marks space six question marks. So we will call him question marks how old is your daughter my daughter is nine she's about to turn 10 in july she's born on fourth of july so she's an independence baby that's why she's a firecracker that's why she's always tick 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 boom this question comes from joel richardson do you have an instagram yeah i'll go ahead and plug it in the instagram is right here strength team make sure you go ahead and follow me this question comes from willie t what do you do for work? I do remodeling and personal training. So I do a lot of good stuff. So if you want your house to look better, I can help you with that. If you want me to make your wife look better, I can help you with that. That's what I do. I make everything look better. This question comes from Killer Taco. What is your opinion on cheat meals and cheat days? Now, if you're on a super strict diet, a cheat meal is okay. Maybe one out of a week. If you're like doing like a bodybuilding show or something super strict, maybe one time a week. But if you're just chilling and you're just dieting slowly, one or two meals a week will still be okay. Now, when you're starting to have cheat days, that's too much. Cheat days turn into cheat weeks. Cheat weeks turn into I ain't even dieting no more. This question comes from Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Best supplement stack for working out. In my opinion, Ray, all you need is some creatine, and some protein, your multivitamins, some glucosamine for your joints, and a fish oil, and that is about it. You don't need all that other junk, man. Just keep it simple. This question comes from Prathab you mesh. How can you lift so heavy while you have a, such a busy schedule? It just happens. I go to the gym and then an animal is born. As soon as I come home and I clock out from work, I go outside and it's like a total different person. How often do you take a break and go light? Hardly ever take a break and start going light. I train heavy all the time, but it's like pyramids. It's like every workout has a heavy lift. I don't train heavy every single workout. You see what I'm saying? You got to mix it all. That way you can keep on and keep on and the gains are going to keep on too. This question comes from Music Prodigy 3. If you could train only one muscle for the rest of your life, what would it be? If I could only train one muscle for the rest of my life, that's a hard one. I would really say legs just because it's going to make everything work, but honestly, it would be core because everything comes and starts with your core. So I would just train my core. This question comes from LB James Fan. What's your go-to meal at your favorite fast food restaurant? I know it's gonna sound crazy, but it'll be something simple as going to Wendy's and probably getting that number two, that double stack, uh, uh, I don't even know what it's called, like Dave's cheeseburger or whatever, tell them I don't need no mayonnaise, and get the fries medium, and then get me a Sprite, I kill it. That's like a cheat meal. This question comes from Evolve Fitness. Why is it so important to put good content out there? 
Cause you always seem like you are so just concerned with everybody getting those gains, even though you stole that logo and that phrase from me and your mama. Because I care. I want y'all to avoid all the mistakes that I made that I didn't have like a big brother to sit there and tell me everything not to do and what to do. That's what I'm here for for you. I want to show you what to do and what not to do. I'm gonna show you what to do to get all of them gains. This question comes from Leo Arif One. How can women learn how to do pull-ups? I'm actually working on a series that will actually help you. I'm going to link it right up here, and today I'm going to follow it up. So that video will probably drop Wednesday, and it's going to be part two. It's four phases, and I want you to try it, and I guarantee it you'll be able to do some pull-ups after the four phases. This question comes from Pona, P-0-N-A. How do you get big as a natty? You got to eat, you got to train, and you got to eat, and you got to train. It's that simple. You've got to eat and you gotta work out hard, I mean train. You see how my workouts are designed? I've been working out like that for over 10 years. That is what you gotta do and you got to eat. Drink your water, eat, drink your water and train and you will be big even if you are natty like me. This question comes from Raboogi Stool. Will your daughter ever have a YouTube channel? Well if I got anything to do with it, nah. She ain't gonna have no YouTube channel because you got all these little freaks on the internet that's gonna be sitting there looking at her with some crazy thoughts. So, I don't know what he's gonna tell you, but I'm gonna tell you probably not. Honestly, I told her when she's 10, she can have a channel, but I don't know. I'm just gonna see how much she matures from now until July. And if she don't mature, it may be 11 or 12. I want her to be somewhat mature. That way she can handle the responsibilities of a channel because it is a lot of work that goes into a YouTube channel. This question comes from AZ Wallbreaker. When are you going to start training your daughter? I say by the time she gets to 12, she'll be a little bit more serious, and then I'm gonna start full-blown training her. This question comes from Ruman Mohammed. Alternatives to bench press if you have a bad back. Do not be afraid to use the machines. The machines are going to isolate those pecs and help you to build up your chest in a way, honestly, that dumbbells and barbells can't even really do because it's not going to be isolating. So do not be afraid to use the hammer machines. There's all kinds of just regular chest press machines, the cable flies, all of these are great. This question comes from King Claus. Do you watch soccer? I have never in my life watched a soccer game, but it seems very interesting because when I go to some of the Mexican restaurants, I be seeing them going bananas. They be, I don't even know nothing. They just be kicking it back and forth and I just be like, I don't even know and I'm looking, but they be going bananas. So I may end up start watching that a little bit because I see everybody that does watch it, they're really into it. This question comes from David Dawson Dan. How often do you train abs to make them pop? I know it's gonna sound crazy, but it's not about how many times you gotta train your abs. It is about your nutrition. Your nutrition has got, you can train your abs a thousand reps every single day for a thousand days straight. You're not gonna see your abs anymore. They may get a little bit more blocky, a little bit more thick, but to really make them pop like you wanna pop, you need to diet down and get your body fat very low. I say under 10%, that way you can really see your abs. And once you get to like 5%, it looks like they just sitting on top of your skin, like you done sculpted them. That's what you gotta do. You gotta get that body fat low. And that's what we're gonna do with this 12 week series coming up. We all about to get shredded. We all about to have our abs. We ain't gonna wear no shirts. We're going into every store with no shirts on. When they look at us funny, we're gonna start flexing on them. This question comes from Latsy Francis. I do miscellaneous workouts. Like I don't have a certain split. Is that okay? You need some type of structure with your workouts. I understand you're like, okay, you wake up today. I'm gonna do chest today. Oh, I don't remember what I did tomorrow. I'm gonna do chest tomorrow. You can't do that. You need structure. You may be able to get away and make some uh, decent gains for your first couple years, but once your body adapts to that, you're not gonna really make gains like you can if you set up a nice structure and a nice split. So I highly recommend you to have a split. This question is the last question of the day, and it is from Frost Gamer YT. How would you build a defensive lineman body? What would you make them work out and what would you make them focus on? All his movements would be like hang cleans. He would do push press. He would do squats. He would do heavy leg press. He would do heavy neutral grip dumbbell. Anything that makes him more explosive, that is what I would do with him because a defensive lineman needs to be quick, fast, strong, and explosive. And as always, this is Joe Felice, Darrell's auntie uncle. So if you ever need to see me, all you gotta do is leave a message down there and I'll make sure I will come back. If he ever starts slipping, you let me know and I will smack some sense into him and get some motivation back into him. So all you gotta do is let me know in the comment section. Keep getting them gains. <laughs> now let me come over and pull your wig out looking like Patti LaBelle but you broke. How you gonna like Patti LaBelle, the broke version and you can't sing? Get out of my house.